What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video. I know it's been a while. I apologize. But honestly, the lack of content hasn't really opened up a whole lot. You know, I'm just going to go through a few things. You can see that I have 1.5 million coins. I'm going to show you my binder here quick. I have got literally almost every card right now for pretty much every team. And you can see right here, I've got a ton of cards. I mean, I'm just stocked up. I'm ready for Team Diamonds. Now, they have announced that Team Diamonds will not be this week. However, hopefully they'll be soon enough. You know, we'll see. I mean, honestly, I spent about 100 to about 120K per team uh, getting most of the cards. So I have well over 3, I mean, 3.5 million probably invested into this. I mean, it's okay. I'm, I'm all right. I'm here for it because the longer they wait with the Team Diamonds, the better overall that they're going to be. On top of that, I mean, hopefully they run it like they have been, right? To where we still have this, we still need all those cards. If we need some of these newer cards and stuff like that, that's going to be bad. You know, they did. I thought they had said Team of the Week for the preseason was going to be out on Tuesday. Obviously not. Um, you know, the solo battles and weekend league rewards getting delayed actually helps us. I know people are going to say, what the heck are you talking about? That's our rewards. Well, no, it's going to help us. If it comes out on Thursday, it gives us a chance for limited, even though the packs are terrible. If it comes out on Friday with whatever promo that they're going to release, I'm pretty sure Campus Legends, something like that. But it allows us the opportunity to pull those cards and have those cards in our inventory. Um, and so I don't think it's a bad thing, but you can see I went ahead and got Odell Beckham Jr. Tell me that was a complete waste. Why did they put that mode even in the game? I mean, it's awful. But you can see right here, I've made some, I've done a lot of different things recently. Um, I've been playing a lot of head-to-head, -head, but I've been doing a little bit of flipping, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about. You can see uh, a lot of the cards that I have right here. I have a lot of uh, quick sells. I'm keeping them for, you know, until the end of the week. Uh, another thing that I've been doing, just so you are aware is I went through this whole strategy grind. This is why my coins aren't real high, but I got speed at every category now. Um, you know, it's it's almost a must at this point, especially if you're a Vikings steam team, because I don't have fast guys. My guys are kind of slow, to be honest with you, but I went through that all that. Uh, these guys like Lane Johnson, Ali Marpet, Ronnie Stanley, Wyatt Tell, they're all placeholders. I'm gonna put them in the Team Diamond as soon as Team Diamond comes out, uh, and then I'll just put some of the Team Diamond players in there. I'm looking forward to the whole Team Diamond thing, but you know, as of right now, we don't know what's going on. I mean, let's be honest, this kind of, this year's kind of been a shit show. Uh, let's be honest here. I, I, I hate to say that kind of stuff. I don't want to be mean, but the lack of content, the way they ended last year, the way that they started this year, it's kind of depressing. Uh, but don't worry, guys. They'll put packs in the store every day for you to buy. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, on to why you're here. You're here to make coins. Well, we're gonna give you uh, we're gonna give you three coin making methods right now that still work, and we're gonna give you a bonus one. The bonus one is still going to be get a players. Now, is it gonna be very good? Uh, not as much as it used to be because the gold prices are lower and so on. Um, and so when Team Diamonds come out or the use of any of the gold cards actually get put into to sets, that will definitely be something uh, you're going to want to do. Getta players are still good. I'm going to be looking at doing 1 million Getta Golds as soon as Team Diamond comes out because the gold price will be higher. If I pull any elites, those low elites are usually worth something and so on and so forth. So I'm looking at doing that, but for right now, don't do it. Don't do it. Relax. Don't do it. Right? So both of those kind of are, you know, the get a player still work. Not, I mean, your rate of return is not going to be great. Sometimes you're going to lose actually on it um, because of the prices. But onto, onto it. Number three. For one of the better coin making methods right now is playbooks. Okay, go snipe low golds and put them into playbooks. Playbooks are right here. Okay, offense and defensive playbooks. Search the playbooks to make sure that you're gonna get at least back. But I would buy your golds for a thousand or below. You can do it. There's plenty on the market to do it, um, and you can sometimes sell those playbooks for at least uh you know seven to eight thousand so you're gonna make a little bit of profit and just so you can see the patriots playbook as you can see is going for nine thousand coins uh that's usually a pretty 
pretty popular. You can see the Packers defense going for 9,000 coins. You can see if you can get the golds, the low golds for about 1,000, you're going to spend about 5,000 on the pack. You can sell the stuff for you know, between eight to 9,000. It will take a little bit of time, but it's steady coin. It's very easy. Um, you know, that definitely works. The number two coin making method that I would use right now, and it is something that I do use quite frequently, actually. I will go on the auction house and I'll do flipping, but I'm combining flipping with other things now, right? So I'll go to the 82, 83, for example. We'll get the non-filtered price. You can see it's 14,000. Uh, for for 82s that's fine okay but then i'll break it down and i'll go into and so you know for example so if you want to buy 82s at the at you want to buy them at a at a flipping price um let's say hypothetically you know we saw the non-filtered price was 14k so if i want to let's say a thousand profit if i want a thousand profit per card after auction i was cut i would need to buy them for 11.6 uh k so I would go ahead and I would just go on this filter and I would go 82, 83, and that's what I would do. But now I would buy any 82 that's under 11.6 to gain a little bit of profit. I'd throw it back up there for 14K put and set it for an hour, and in an hour it usually sells. But what I'm also doing with this is I'm doing the 80, uh, 84, 85 exchange, or the 85, 86 exchange, sorry. So I'm trying to find 83s for less than 16 to 17K. Is this easy to do? No, but it can be profitable. Um, it's certainly something that's fun. Um, you know, if you can buy 83s, let's say you buy three of them at 17K, for example. That would cost you 51,000 coins to make the pack. We'll go to 85, 86 really fast here. Let's look at 80. Let's go ahead and look at uh, 85s. And this, usually when you pull 85s, it will be an L, by the way. However... Uh, there is other ways and, and most of the time actually we found a way like we found it to where we've actually made a lot of coin doing this You can see right here like Russell Wilson's 40k. That's definitely an L uh, But when you're paying 51k or or even you know, even less than that's a lot of times we're buying it for 15k or less So that's 45k um, and so you're getting 40k after or Yeah, you're spending about 45k sometimes, but uh, go let's just take a peek here at the 86s and you'll see why I do it um, So you can see 86 is right here 67 K uh, We'll just go to all right now. You can see them all. I mean you can see this. This is profit And so to me I, I combo now flipping with that exchange set or you can do also the 84 85 exchanges uh, Or not the exchanges the 84 85 so you can flip 84s find the non-filtered price at 29 K um, and so we would want to I'm gonna put it in my handy-dandy calculator here if I'm gonna the sell at is 29 and I want let's say I want 2,000 profit because it's a little bit more of a risk at this higher level So I want to buy at 24,000 so I would then go to the filtered Prices and that's what I would look for right I go to newest and I would buy any 85 so we would buy any 85 at around 30 34 35 36 K something like that depending on the prices and then you would put that in the exchange for the 87 88s now again 87s sometimes are going to be an L in this one situation clearly um, when you get to a wide receiver spot and you look down and you look down you see DeAndre Hopkins that would be an L right but you keep going and eventually you're gonna find the man Tyreek Hill now, my, uh, my son has pulled him four or five times doing this, uh, you know, but it's a risk, right? There's always going to be a risk to it, but I find it more fun. Um, you can see 87 right here. That's an L um, and stuff like that. But then you go to search 88s, and this is what makes it good right here, Derrick Henry. When you're spending 95 to 100K for the pack, you know, Derrick Henry, that's a little bit of a, that's a win, right? That's a win. You know, Patrick Mahomes, not as much of a win, but it's still a win. You know, and you just kind of keep going. So 88s are usually wins. 87s are, you know, sometimes risky. You know, it's all part of the game, right? It's all part of the game. But that's my number two method that uh, I enjoy doing. It's not always about making a lot of coins. It's about making sure you have fun with it and just the risk uh, involved, you know. But it works. It works for me. The number one method that I use right now and still use is... The Superstar Exchange. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the at the training on it. 
and I know a lot of people probably have talked about this but this pack right here for only 100 training I know you can't see it because my big head's in the way but 100 training is very good if you're buying training for 5200 or, or I mean 52 53 which is common right now you're spending about 5200 to 5300 per pack now if you pull a low gold or a gold in general it's going to sell for about 2700 to 2800 which isn't real good but if you pull an 80 plus you're looking real good if you pull an 86 you're pulling real real good and i'll show you the prices this style works for me i mean guys i've, I've got all four of my speed items and strategy uh, I've had to spend a ton of coins just to get that stuff done and there's a reason why I still have almost 1.5 million Because I've taken the time and done these rerolls a lot a Lot, but you can see 2300 actually that would kind of be a snipe if I wanted to throw that back up um, And gain a couple hundred coins, but I'm not gonna do that um, But then you look at let's take a peek at 75 79 uh, You can see 2700 are the cards gonna sell yes, they will is it going to take a little bit of time? It shouldn't take that much time. Is this method dying? Yes. Because they're going to have new stuff coming out. Training tomorrow should go down a little bit. Keep this in mind. Training should go down a little bit. You can see 86 is right now going for 60K. Um, but tr yeah, methods. Uh, but training should go down a little bit if they announce the limiteds, if they have limiteds and packs, which they've said they're going to do tomorrow. It will cause people to buy packs. Not me. Hopefully not you. But it will. people will be buying packs. And when they buy the packs, that reduces the price uh, of a lot of items. So it's a good time to go and buy. On Friday, they will. the prices will definitely be lower. Uh, I'm expecting them to add a training reroll in on that day too for Campus Heroes. Uh, or campus legends whatever they're gonna do i don't know i mean we'll find out soon enough we'll find out tomorrow actually in the morning but i'm expecting some kind of training reroll with to keep the prices higher um what i'm hoping is i'm hoping that they do something like team diamonds for campus legends so i'm hoping that every team has one player i'm hoping that you enter in a bunch of stuff to get that one player that's what i'm hoping uh you know i i hope Probably not gonna happen, but anyways guys, that's my methods. I, I mean, I posted videos on this already and that's why I haven't posted anything in the last week. What am I supposed to talk about? I don't know, but anyways guys, that's my three methods plus my get a player. Definitely take a look at it. Do your numbers before you do them though. If you see number, if you see prices going down, don't do it. Like it's all about using your brain to figure out numbers, but Anyways, that's it for me. I will see you as soon as they actually have content.